Hi everyone. Today we are going to see how to write various loops in C programming framework. So as you know that like in any other programming language, C supports the looping concepts. Okay. So it is called the loop control structure. So C programming supports loop. Okay. And loop does, you know what loop does the repetition of of a block of codes until a specified condition is met that means for doing repetitive work similar type of repetitive repetitive work we need to incorporate loops okay so c programming supports three types of loop first one is the while loop second one is the for loop and third one is the do while loop so let's understand what is the structure of while loop and how while loop works so you see while loop the general form of while loop is as shown in the below so first is the initialization of the loop counter so loop counter is nothing but the variable through which we increment the value we increment the counter because loop either can be incremented loop or can be decremented loop that means either loop will be having incrementation or it can be having decrementation so you need a counter that will either increment or decrement so first duty in case of for loop is to initialize the uh, loop counter okay after doing so then this while keyword we have to write and in this while keyword in between this uh, brackets this bracket is must in between these brackets we have to write test condition okay so if this test test condition is true then only control will enter in, bet in between the loop and it will do the execution of the statement that, uh, that will be written inside the while loop. So this is the body of the loop and this is the conditional check. Before that, we have the initialization. So remember one thing, all loop concepts are having three stage or three constraints rather. One is the initialization, another one is the incrementation and third one is the termination which we call condition check because after a certain point of time the loop loop has has to be exhausted loop has to be terminated okay it cannot run for infinite time so this is there so uh, so let us let us write a simple program that will print 1 to 10 using while loop so here we are going to see one simple program that will that will print 1 to 10 using while loop considering that all the constraints are written properly that means initialization incrementation and the termination that means condition check so as usual you have to first write hash include dot stdio dot h so this is the header file as this is the input output header file hash include we have to write in in this stdio.h many functions are written which when necessary being called okay so macros also are there in between this stdio.h so this header file is must and also we have to run this main function as i mentioned in my earlier classes also that main function is a must so here let's say i'm going to declare one integer which is i but only integer declaration is not enough we have to initialize it let us say i am going to initialize this value of i int equal to 1 next i am going to write this while keyword in between this while keyword i am going to write the termination condition until how much this i will be incremented let us say i am writing incrementation loop because i am printing a 1 to 10 so 1 so i less than equal to let's say 10 okay now this is the while loop while keyword this is within bracket you have to write the condition that will terminate the loop in that particular this is condition check after that you have to give this double braces pair of one pair of brace in between that you have to write the the logic that you want to put so i'm going to here i'm going to put it i'm going to print one to ten so for that what you have to do simply print f percentage d and then i okay so by this process it will print the loop by this process it will print the loop 
uh, it will print the element from 1 to 10 but here one part is remaining as I mentioned that all loops are having three constants first one is the initialization second one is the termination or you can call it conditional check and third one is the you know, incrementation increment so here we have printed though but we haven't incremented the value so if you do that that what e control will understand that the value of i is one so it will treat as a treat this condition as a true and it will print uh, infinitely i so if you want to check this i can i can show you later on but let us right now print the value so print this and then finally you can write either i equal to i plus i equal to i plus one by this process the value of i will be incremented one by one okay so this is how loop works so let us execute it so i have already saved this program as loop dot uh, this thing and uh, i can also save it as loop dot c so here c file i'm saving it loop dot c now i'm going to execute this it has compiled successfully yes and now we are going to run it so you see one two three four five six seven and nine ten in fact to print this thing line by line we just have to give slash n so this is enough to print line by line compilation and then finally execution finally running so one two ten has displayed now there are few things that you have to remember if you don't keep this incrementation part in fact any of the items any of the constant if if it, if it is missing from the loop then the loop won't work properly let us say if you if you ignore the increment part so this loop eventually end up printing infinite number of one just just see it compilation and then execution then running you see infinite number of loops are getting displayed okay that should not happen so you have to increment the value otherwise it will take that it will just consider default value i mean it will just consider default value of, i mean it will be i equal to one so which is true which is logic one and infinite number of times i will be printed so you should you must increment the value you can either increment it by I equal to i plus one or you can write i equal to i, I you can simply write i i plus plus also okay now so the condition being tested may use rational or logical operator as shown in the following example so here you can have operators also okay logical operator like and this means and this means and so this kind of uh, expressional check of condition check is also allowed in C, in C programming okay uh, one thing I must say while writing the while loop if uh, after while loop, if you have only one statement so there is no need of write, giving any braces over here but if multiple statement means you must give a brace so this this one and this one are equivalent okay this one and this one is equivalent so already i have shown you this program how this uh, infinite number of time will be i will be printed if you don't put this i plus plus so so you have to put i equal to i plus one or i plus plus if you miss this incrementation part then it will be a disaster okay now similar thing will also happen for you know this uh, decremented loop so in decremented loop exactly a decremented loop exactly the opposite of incrementation so it will be decremented so let's say i has been initialized to 5 and i is greater than equal to 1 okay and here the value of i is getting decremented by 1 i equal to i minus or i can write here i minus minus also okay that both are similar so it, if you run this then it will be printing first uh, 5 and it will go up to 2 if you give i equal to i greater than equal to 1 then 1 also will be printed if you don't give 1 then it won't print so here so if you execute this so compilation has done properly now if you run it so you see 5 4 3 2 so because when i becomes 1 this condition will be failed so if you want to print one also then you have to give one so again you execute compile and then run it so five four three two one everything has been printed okay so this is a this is an example of decremented loop okay now next we are going to see the for loop 
so the next important loop that we have is called for loop so in for loop what happens for loop does all these three steps that is in that is initialization and then condition check and then incrementation or decrementation in a single statement so here initialize a counter then semicolon and test counter that means condition check and then increment counter you have to increment or decrement and then whatever you want to do you do it in inside this for loop body okay so so this is what for loop does now for loop does all these three things in a single statement so that is the advantage of for loop but here also counter initialization happen here also test condition happen only thing is that you have to give semicolon in between for separation purpose okay and then increment and decrement so let us say let us go to the so let us let us just uh, see how for loop works so first we will do the uh, see here int sorry first you have to declare a variable a variable int let's say i first you have to declare the variable then in between the for loop i have to write i equal to zero this is the initialization part then i less than equal to let's say five or uh, yeah i less than equal to five and then let's say or ten and then let's say i equal to i plus plus here let us int instead of zero let's start from one so here initialization happened here condition check happens every time when i reaches 10 it will be exhausted loop will be exhausted and it will come out of the loop so control will come out and then incrementation so there is a sharp difference between i plus plus and plus plus i that means uh, pre-increment and post-increment that we will discuss in other uh, time okay this is there now similarly you have to give one pair of braces here you have to write print f and then percentage d comma i percentage d sorry comma i now here you don't need to you know increment or decrement in a uh, in an extra way because already here incrementation has been done initialize initialization has been done and then condition check has been done so if you run it it should print 1 to 10 and moreover if you need that element to be printed line by line give a slash in uh, compilation first it has been compiled successfully second thing is that run so you see all have all elements have been printed uh, 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 one two nine has been printed properly if you want the 10 also to be printed just give it just give equal to so that train also first compile and then then run okay this is what happening then run then fine this is for loop now here one now next we are going to see the sorry this will be for loop so next we are going to see the uh, break statement okay so let's see break statement so what break statement does it actually whenever the condition satisfy the whenever the if condition satisfies for a particular value break statement get executed and whole loop is getting uh, uh, the loop is getting broken that means the control totally comes out of the loop that means it exit the loop so here let's say every time if you give a, let's say if you type a if statement over here it is i equal to equal to five okay so this is equal to equal to uh, symbol it symbolizes that i is whenever i is equal to five if it is the case then uh, in between you uh, in between you put a statement which is break okay break the loop okay and then semicolon uh, so in that case when i will be equal to five loop will be exited i mean it will exit from the control will exit from the loop it will comes out so until uh, let us say let us see what happens let's let's execute it so it has executed successfully next uh, run it so one two three four so whenever it is five it got broken from the, the 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 loop comes out of the loop the loop comes out of the block this if this for loop block it comes out total block it get broken okay so this is a break statement work 
so no longer so when i becomes 5 1 2 3 4 5 that times it breaks out so that means it won't even print 5 so until 4 only getting getting printed so if you see from the uh, this thing from uh, the outcome that has come it is that 1 2 3 4 not even 5 has been displayed okay so this is a good this is an interesting thing break statement next we are going to see the continuous statement okay so continuous statement is another interesting uh, keyword which basically just the complement of break so if you write continue over here the meaning is very simple see sometimes many students does mistake with the break and continue okay when continuous statement meaning is that only this i equal to 5 will be ignored remaining things will be displayed that is the meaning some students thinks that think that continue means you continue the things it's not like that it is not that continuing the remaining part it is just that that i equal to 5 will be ignored and remaining thing will be as it is so if you see if you compile it it has compiled successfully and then if you run it then you see here 5 has been excluded 1 2 3 4 5 is not there that means remaining things have been continued and uh, only 5 has been ignored so this is an interesting thing about uh, looping concept which is continuous so break and continue both complements each other now next we are going to see another loop which is called do while okay now do while what is do while so, so this is a do while uh, loop so here in do while what happens first we check the body of the loop as the body of the loop get executed and then condition check happens okay then condition check happens so uh, so this is a simple program i have written so do while so while loop first condition check happens then body of the loop executes and then in body of the loop we increment or decrement whatever but here in case of do while first to do the Job and then execute then check the condition okay so here uh, one two three four five so this you can uh, do a little bit of modification and then you can, you can write slash n uh, compilation done properly and then running so one two three four five now how to understand that it happens so if you give here i is less than equal to let's say zero this is the condition and i have initialized i equal to one so this condition should fail that means loop should not execute but it won't happen like that in case of while uh, do while do while at least one time it will be printed that means one will be printed for sure you see one has been displayed that means at least one time this body of the loop will be executed so this is the basic difference between while and do while so you have learned today uh, while loop while loop and do while loop and also you have seen break and continuous statement i hope you have enjoyed this video and please subscribe to my youtube channel thanks for watching